Hi, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a customer and give them a subscription through the Plesk reseller control panel. So the first thing we need to do is we need to log into the Plesk control panel and you need to have already purchased a reseller um, plan through a hosting company. Rupal offers Plesk reseller uh, plans and so you need to have a reseller access plus control panel, which is the closest thing to basically, you know, uh, running a Plesk server. And so you can create customers, you can create service plans. You have a lot of different features and permissions you can control with your customers. And so it's a pretty powerful um, reseller uh, plan with, with the plus control panel. So the first thing we're gonna do is before we create a customer, actually, we need to create a service plan. And the so let's go ahead and create a plan. And we're gonna call this plan starter. And we're gonna give it 10 gigs and give it access to two domains. I don't really care about the mailboxes or how many databases they use, or maybe I do. Maybe I want them to only use five databases because you know the more databases they have, the more scripts and websites they can run such as CMS solutions. Um, I don't care about the traffic. Rupal offers unlimited traffic for all the reseller plans. So you can use that as a selling point or limit them on traffic and charge them later for using um, specific amounts of traffic. Uh, you can get notifications if you put 90%. Uh, so you know when their disk space reaches around 90%. Um, I'll change it to percent. And so, you know, you can say, hey, you're running out of percentage. Uh, you're running out of disk space. It's time to upgrade from starter to whatever plan. Uh, you can edit their permissions, give them access to shell, a lot of different options. I mean, so that's up to you. I'll have a different uh, video on more in depth of the service plan and options and stuff like that. But for now, I'm gonna basically choose the basic stuff. Um, you can increase the PHP memory limit. A lot of, you know, actually I do want to increase this. That's very small. I think 128 is a good number. Um, you want to have these values at 128, 128, 128. This means they're allowed to upload images and files through WordPress, uh, media manager around 128. I think 90 seconds is a good execution time. But sometimes you might want to change it to 120. And I think 120 is perfect because some uh, website import demo scripts. And when you import that demo content, it takes a while. It can take, you know, up to a couple minutes sometimes. So this is um, only two minutes. So you might need to reset, increase this a little bit more if they're importing a lot of demo content. But I'm going to keep it at 120. And uh, these the values at 128 or are pretty okay but if you want to change it up a little bit and increase it because you don't want anyone to have any problems with WordPress or anything like that um, you could do that as well you are a reseller you have these permissions and I'm gonna leave it at that that's actually a good set of numbers because we don't want the max execution time to to be too high because then they can if the website gets hacked it could run the WordPress site and then damage your account. Um, so you don't want that. A lot of different mail settings, DNS, logs, and that's pretty much it. So 10 gigs of space, two domains allowed, two websites on my starter plan. And I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. So now that I got my service plan, I'm ready to create my customer. So the first thing we need to do is go to customers and create a new customer. Here you can enter the contact information of your customer. So Billy's going to sign up, uh, Billy Joe, and I'm going to put his email address in there, Billy Joe at Gmail, um, or let's just say Rupal. So this is my customer. He signed up with me. I want him as a client. Um, he wants to use my hosting, right? I already branded my Plus control panel right here to have my logo. This is a custom logo right here. Um, you can change that in tools and utilities and brand your Plus control panel. I have a video on that as well that you can check on our YouTube channel, how to brand your Plus control panel. So when this customer comes to 
my custom URL, he's going to go to login.rupaldemo.com to log in using his customer account that I'm generating right now. So um, access to Plesk is how he's going to access it. And so I'm going to create his username. I'm going to call him Billy, Billy Joe test and a password. And I can't active, uh, activate account by email. A created account is inactive until the user activates it. So that's cool. We can click this. It'll send him an email um, to activate his account. But I'm going to leave that. I don't think this is needed. I'm already creating the account. And uh, I don't think you should use this. It's, there's no point. So now we need to create a subscription for the customer. So let's say you're using a, let's say you have your Plesk reseller plan all set up and you want to automate this process. Um, this process can be automated through some billing platforms such as WM, WHMCS, uh, Box Billing, Blesta. Um, there's a bunch of different automated ways to automate all of this uh, account creation stuff. But as um, when you add a new customer, you actually need to register a domain with them. Um, and so they'll give you a domain name they want to use on their customer uh, for their account. So Bill, Billy, Billy Joe, you know, when he was registering, we said, what domain do you want to use? And so he said, oh, my, you know, billyjoe.com. I own that domain. So we're going to enter Billy Joe as a registered domain right here. And so now you have to create another username, which I recommend uh, it just being the same username because this will access Plesk. This is the Plesk access for the user. So they access their control panel using this, but they access their website using this username. So I recommend it being the same um, just because it doesn't create any confusion. They can change this later often if you you know you allow it, but um, I suggest using the same password as well. That is up to you. You can you can make it different. That's nothing. It's up to you. So, um, and so even though I have BillyJoe.com right here, it's that's going to be the domain, their main domain. But they'll also be able to add another domain because we allowed them to have two domains. Um, so they can add another one besides billyjoe.com. So the service plan is where you select the service plan that they have. Um, so they can be limited to the resources that you created. And you can secure the domain with Let's Encrypt automatically, but I, I'm not going to do that. So they can do that on their own. They can install SSL their own. And I'm going to click OK. So while it's creating that customer account, I'm going to open up a new private browser and I'm going to go to login.rupal.demo.com. You can actually just make this login.rupal.demo.com uh, redirect to the login page. And this is what they're going to see. You're, they're going to see your logo. This is your branding, my logo that I branded on my reseller. Um, if I didn't brand it, it's a plus control panel. And now that the account has been created and a subscription has been generated, I can actually log in as my customer. So I can click right here, log in as the customer and see all of their, you know, how, what they see. This is what they see. And you can head back to, uh, back to the administrator page. Really cool feature to log in as the customer and see what they're seeing. So you can diagnose and support and fix the things that, you know, that they're seeing uh, uh, while being logged into their account. So I'm going to log in. Pretend I'm Billy Joe. I'm logging in as the customer now. So I type in, you know, Billy Joe test, my password, and I'm logging in because I bought, you know, web ho he bought Billy Joe bought hosting from you as a reseller. And so now I logged in, I see my, the customer, Billy Joe's, you know, logs in, sees his website, and now he can do what he needs to do under your reseller account with your branding. This is your branding right here. This is not RuPaul. RuPaul will not have its logo. You can change the branding under tools and utilities. If you, you know, watch that other video and 
they're they're using my login uh, link, which it shows login.rupaldemo.com. You can change it to host. We could change it to anything you want as a subdomain. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. I created a customer account. He now has his own Plesk hosting control panel through me as a reseller. And that's pretty much it. I mean, if you wanna go into subscriptions and uh, manage their subscriptions, you can do that as well. I can click the Billy Joe right here and I can see their entire account right here. Um, you can go down here, you can change their uh, plan or add add-ons or customize their plan. You can click customize and you can change it to whatever you want with that. And then when you change it, when you, when you do a customization to a customer, it's gonna lock it because um, it's gonna be different from your service plan. And you don't wanna do that as much unless it's you know a special customer that wants some extra resources or something. Because if you make a change to your service plan right here, it's not gonna update that customer when it syncs. So if I'm, if I'm like, you know what, I'm actually changing the starter plan to 20 gigs and I click update, it's gonna update it for Billy Joe. But if I have a customization and I lock and on his account, it's not gonna update it because his account's gonna be locked. So you kinda wanna make sure everything's under a service plan so it's more management when you do change those resources for that plan but that's pretty much it um if we log into billy joe or if we head to billy joe's customer you can you know see his account you can suspend it um you can change the login info you can log in as the customer you have full access to your customers um as an administrator as a reseller so that's it that's pretty cool it's a great uh, great tool for agencies and and uh, that's pretty much it how you create a customer so if you have any questions or concerns contact rupal and we'll help you with your reseller account thank you